I got this email in. Uh, this is from Pam Yannick. I'm going to get you to answer it. She wants some advice on uh, updating the fireplace. And we know a lot of viewers are stuck with fireplaces they're not exactly thrilled with. Yes. So do you have some it's advice for It's probably one her? of the most popular questions that we get on City the Line. Time. The corner fireplace, updating my fireplace seems to be like a big issue here. But well, anyway. it's, a big, it's a big space in it your is. living room or your family room. And, and so you're looking you're... at it and you're thinking, what do I do? Yes. And you want to do it right. Yes. So thank you for asking us. So Mm -hmm. Let's keep it simple. Sometimes the simplest way of doing things is the best. Overcomplicating mm -hmm. things in design never really works. So what I'm suggesting is, okay, it's got that typical brick fireplace. It's got a nice wood mantle, so mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong. But if you do want a more like tailored or modern look, uh, I can understand why she wants to update it. So this is what I'm suggesting. Mm -hmm. Just cover it with a beautiful travertine tile, mm -hmm. which this one is um, kind of a beigey gray. It will last the test of times. In 10 years, it will still look good, even mm -hmm. though you go from traditional to modern. This is something you want to keep in mind when you do renovations. You want to keep your basics and your hard finishes uh, simple. So they will last, and then you can change the furniture and the pillow depending on your moods and you know the trends. But spend a bit amount of money on doing it right. So covering the fireplace like this, you see it's clean, simple, elegant. Yeah. So it's a good uh, start. And then on either side, she doesn't have windows. So what I would do is we've done this for a project: uh, oversized floor mirror, mm -hmm. and then we installed a picture light at the top on either side of the fireplace. So it's a great way to bring some reflection and to make the feature, fireplace feature, a little bigger too. Yeah. Um, so that's what it would look like. So that's already nice. there, it creates a huge impact. And totally. then you replace the sofa and the yeah. carpet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, we've got uh, Katrine in the audience right now, and so I know that she wanted to ask you about her shower, her shower uh, space, and her and her bathroom. Yes, she sent in an email. Um, yeah. It's alright, we don't oh, have any don't, pictures. Okay. No, she sent in an email because she really enjoyed watching the renovation I did at my parents' house because right. I did the the U tile system for Max. Mm -hmm. And so one of the reasons I wanted to show it today is she's in our audience because I think it's the perfect solution for her. Yeah. And she was saying she has one of those fiberglass enclosures right now, the ones those one unit that fit right in, and it's feeling really dark and there's the doors on it. And she said it's like a cave and they don't bathe in there. So I was <laughs> they shower. <laughs> They shower, they shower, they shower, sorry, they're clean, I swear. <laughs> um, but she was saying that they, they wanted to take it out, but they didn't know how to get it out. And I said, we were talking earlier, and I said, a reciprocating saw, also known as a sawzall, that's the one that has like the trigger. It'll, oh. You have to actually rip it out to get it out the door. Oh, oh that sounds like fun. Yeah, and it's actually yeah. fun. It's fun. Dude, like, the tools are fun. <laughs> but it's really easy to do. And then we can use the U-tile system, and then it goes in lickety-split, yes. and you can make it into a shower, because you can actually pull the old tub out and then get the base that fits in because with the Utel system it comes the same size as a standard tub. Yeah. So it's really simple to do. Oh that's cool. a great solution. Yeah. And it actually makes sense for this show. 